Okay, so welcome back to Tee Uplow TV and thank you for joining the Average Golfer in today at uh, Tee Uplow HQ and I'm going to be reviewing or kind of reviewing uh, this Garmin S60 approach watch. Now then, I say kind of reviewing because this is a watch that I bought for my dad for his birthday. It was a couple of weeks ago and uh, he currently uses a Sky Caddy watch. Um, and it's been on the blink, let's say, struggling to charge it, problems with the strap. So I thought of buying this for his birthday, but I also thought I'd lead him into a little bit of, uh, I questioned him out on a course, which you'll see very shortly to see what he thinks of the current Sky Caddy watch. And then you'll see as it unfolds as to when he gets his birthday present and this S60 Garmin approach. But first of all, before I get to the clips, I take the watch out Heswell Golf Club, unbeknown to my dad, I wear the watch, I've tried it out on the course, this is what happened, and then we'll have a little look at how the S60 works. Right, so I'm at, um, just arrived at Heswell Golf Club, I am in the car park, Sid is already, he's always early, and uh, where's the camera, it's over there, he's already on the first tee waiting for me, because he's early and I'm always late, but the watch is going on, uh, so really, he's getting a second hand present, isn't he, really, when I think about it. It's pre-owned, pre or pre-worn at least. So, watch is on. Let's put it into golf mode while I'm in the car. So remember, touch screen. Now, locating satellites. Camera, I keep looking the wrong way. Locating satellites. Let's see how long this takes to uh, find. Normally it takes, I don't know, what's it take? Normally a minute or so on uh, lakes of... Oh, I've got a little red bar that's moving. Could do the locating the satellite. Anyway, I'll tell you what, a bit boring viewing. Once we get the satellite located, oh, I've just had a green light appear. Searching courses, Heswell, boom. Loading course, keep score. No, I won't do that. Men's tees, as we did on the earlier video. And the first hole is up and displayed. So... I'll go and put it under my sleeve and go and uh, have a little bit of a chat as we go around and don't tell Sid. Okay, so first thing you'll notice there, front, middle and back distances, there's a map down the right hand side of the exact plan of the hole. Looks superb, nice, bright, visible. The top, the top number is going up, so it shows you how long you've hit the ball. And obviously the second number is telling you how far you've got to go to the flag. Two things to note, I'm in the middle of the fairway and not far off the green. I like this watch. So, only thought I should ask Sid now exactly what he thinks and how he would rate the Sky Caddy watch he's currently wearing. Now, well, I'm hoping to get, there's new there's new watches out. Yeah. But what I want to know is, what's your opinion on, uh, what's that Sky Caddy watch? Has it got a number on it? I don't know. No? It's the it first version of the Sky Caddy, isn't it? Sky, it's, yeah, Sky Caddy GPS it's got on it. And what's it like? How would it, you rate it? I find it very good, I'd say, you know, what I find of it. Yeah. Eight out of ten, I'm... Eight uh, out of ten, you're giving a rating? Yeah. Why isn't it ten out of ten then? Why isn't it ten? Yeah. Well, I don't know whether it's because it's getting on a bit or because yeah. of the... Um, it seems quite a bit to charge up all the time. It takes right. a lot longer than where this lost that. What about on the course though? It works well on the course, doesn't it? It works well, very well on the course, yeah. What numbers does it give you? Let's have a look. So that's 302's middle, isn't it? So front, middle and back. Yeah. And that's the whole number. Three, yeah. Hole three, H3, yeah. yeah. But it's a decent watch though. There's that Sky Caddy one, in it? I think yeah. there's a new one out now. But, um... There's a new watch out from, um, I think it's Garmin. And what they do, it's like, you get a full colour display on the whole. Oh, right. But I mean, I don't know whether it's like... The point is, a bit over spec, isn't it? Do you need to see the full colour display of the whole? No. I think that's enough, isn't it, the information you've got well, there. It's, it's funny enough, I mentioned that to Tracy this morning about, she said, um, about the watches. You hmm. don't wear yours, you know what I mean? It's I haven't got one. I know, but you used to have one, didn't you? I, I used said you got that. Rangefinder, yeah, yeah. Rangefinder now. I said, but that, I said, uh, I think it's more accurate 
It's more accurate for the pin, yeah. but then, yeah. But I then, said, uh, well, all I want to know, where's the nearest to pin, the middle, and, and the furthest away. Yeah, but again, I think the thing is with watches is when you go, when I go, when I went off the first tier, I went out right behind the trees. Yeah. You're no good with a range finder then because you can't see the bloody flag. So the good thing about watches is you get, you'd get, still get your yardage to the middle of the green, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. So hopefully you got that from Sid. He likes the Sky Caddy watch and it gives him all the information he requires. So the watch that I've got on me right now, he thinks is over spec. Maybe I'll take it back as for a refund. So as you've seen, Sid clearly more than happy with the Sky Caddy watch and the performance at the moment. So how will he react when he gets his birthday present the following morning? To go out today. <laughs> the, only th the only thing is, it's all touch screen. Oh, it's God like an iPad. iPad. It's like an iPad. You know, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be playing the first, measuring the 18th. <laughs> Honest to God. Hey. Get the yardage to the third. You have to show him how to use it now. <laughs> so it doesn't end there because that evening we went out for a family meal to celebrate Sid's birthday. As you can see, he now goes on to criticise the Sky Caddy watch and the problems that he's had. Well, I want to know, personally, yeah. why are sat Yeah, like a plastic, rubber, rubbery plastic. Is that, because it will affect the box? No, it won't be to do with that. Okay, I've had the ring, let it through. Yeah. It's broken, you can't get replacement. Oh. A friend of mine has had a strap broken halfway through. I can't get a new strap. Replacement. Oh, oh interesting. Interesting addition. It's an interesting addition to your review because you didn't mention this the other day, did you? No. So the Sky Caddy, you've got a problem. I give like 8 out of 10. Are you knocking it down further now? I said 5-7 now because no. you can't replace the strap. No, I'll replace it. That's why I knock it down. 8 out of 10. It's a simple reason. It does everything that you want to do. Yeah. It tells me the distance and everything. It's always accurate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, front, middle and back, back on the tee. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, the strap things go in there, you can't replace it anyway, I've been to inquire. Who bought, who, who bought you that watch? Hey? Who bought you that watch? Why? Yeah. <laughs> not stay in the monastery. <laughs> did you buy it? Uh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I did? I mean, did you? Yeah. I bought it from yeah. Thomas, did he? Yes, well. Hi. Hey, I did. Did you? They thought me and your mum were gangsters. <laughs> You're walking and I'll go. We sat in the car there. They said, there's two people out there. But they sent somebody out. <laughs> Look suspicious. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> So there you have it, Sid's more than happy with the watch and I've got to say over the last uh, few weeks it has been superb in terms of how easy it is to navigate. But for those of you who do want some detail on this watch, and I did call this an S60 Garmin uh, approach review, I'll go through that with you now. The first thing I like about the watch is the fact that it looks superb as a wristwatch, in my opinion. So it's a great digital display. You basically press this, uh, press the screen. It's all touch screen. Screen lights up. It's got a great. It's really visible. That's what I like about the whole watch. the The display is very clear. The battery life is superb. There's a few buttons that you press, and I'll go through them with you. And um, this watch does everything, and it really does. It is an all singing, all dancing, and far uh, over spec to what Sid is going to use it for, and I think for what majority of golfers will use it for. It is expensive. 
but it doesn't detract from the fact that it's a top quality product and like I said it works extremely well. Press the top right hand button you'll get the golf menu it is again touch screen locating satellites will come up you get the um, courses thrown up that are in the area obviously nearby you choose the course that you are playing very much similar to any other um, GPS device that you will have used it then asks you would you like to keep score um, I think it offers you do you want to play from the men's or ladies tees those kind of questions it's very much all touch screen along the way and then it just goes into naturally um, first tee and you can go from there if you want to move to a different hole, so if for whatever reason, if you're cutting across through different holes, holes are closed or what have you, then it's a simple case of you flick the screen up or you flick the screen down in a downward motion, which you would with your, your phone. It's a swipe down or a swipe up, and that'll move from hole one, hole two, hole three, and vice versa. You scroll down and it uh, scroll down and it starts to move in descending order back to different holes. The other interesting feature, although a little bit it's a little bit fiddly as you'll see on the screen that when you zoom into a hole so your your location so if you're on the T and you want to find out the distance from T to um, hazard whether that be bunker or water hazard you simply press and hold the screen and you move it to the position of the hazard of which you want to find the yardage to and but for me the biggest thing is it's, it, the display is excellent in sunlight as well not that we see much of it in the UK, but um, like I said, we've played it now the last couple of rounds and the display is really, really crystal clear. And that's the biggest thing. My thumbs up would beat it is that the fact that A, and I suppose really why I liked it in terms of a present for Sid, it's a great watch to wear on a day-to-day -day basis, coupled with the fact that it's got a superb GPS system. I think it's got something like, 40,000 um, courses preloaded. You can enable your phone for notifications, whether it be text message or emails and all the rest of it, but I don't want to have that kind of interference on the golf course anyway. Um, it will tell you whether you're on uphill, downhill, like there's lots of things that are, are going on with it. Like I said, this is not a full review. It was more a little bit of a, a look. Uh, I certainly enjoyed um, the video with Sid along the way. And there you go, we've just had uh, a vibration there to say an email has come through, so there you go. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. A little bit different, Garmin S60. Positives, excellent watch, excellent looking watch, excellent performing watch, negatives, very expensive. Right, thanks for watching, see you soon. Congratulations.